This is a quick look at this Roland BAK-1 uh, bass guitar controller assembly kit. So this is basically the electronics from a Roland G77 bass guitar synthesizer controller repackaged so that it could be installed in just about any bass guitar. There were two uh, versions of this for the guitar. There's the LPK one, which is sort of like the first generation electronics, and the SDK one, which was the second generation electronics. They only produced one kit for bass guitar players, and that's the BAK one. And I haven't seen a lot of these, so I thought maybe I'd post some information if you're kind of curious about uh, what's in here. This kit, as far as I can tell, is fairly complete, has everything that we would expect from the um, uh, what we need to install, but I did not see the overlays, which is kind of unfortunate because while you do have all the parts, this would be kind of tricky to install without the uh, the overlay that tells you exactly the you know how to uh, uh, drill into the bass guitar to add all these parts. So let's see what we have here first. So first up is just your basic assortment of knobs, and these are the same knobs that you would see on the Roland G77. Uh, synth bass controller and uh, they're the same style of knobs as uh, is used on the uh, G707 guitar. This is the famous incredibly hard to find 24 pin output so we can say uh, it's uh, we can see it's the male connector there and then also included in here is the uh, the ring that goes around it and uh, some of the uh, the jack for adding in the uh, standard guitar output. Setting that aside, here is one of the rarest uh, parts of this, and that's the actual tw uh, four-position synth bass pickup. So, just like there was a, a difference between the two generations of early and later guitar synth controllers, uh, this is the later bass synth pickup. It has uh, much more output, um, higher impedance uh, uh, pickup than the one that we find on the G33 uh, or the G88 bass. And there was no equivalent kit to this for the G33 or the G88 as I mentioned earlier. Here's all the little hardware, the springs, the uh, um, mounting components, everything you need to get everything mounted into the guitar. This is the back panel, and that's why I mentioned that uh, it would, it's kind of unfortunate that this kit doesn't include the, uh, the template for doing the, the, uh, the cutout, because if you were going to actually install one of these, it, it'd take a little bit of work to figure out exactly how to uh, put this uh, together. But this is the back plate that will uh, go onto the bass guitar. And then finally, we have the electronics assembly itself. And there are a number of uh, parts on here that are pretty rare. Most of the parts on here, the actual electronics, are really uh, super standard electronics, very common operational amplifiers, capacitors, resistors, uh, diodes. There's nothing in here that's really exotic. There, are, There's at least two parts that are kind of hard to find. One is this uh, three position switch, and it's just unusual in that it has the black handle. Um, these are pretty easy switches to come by, but to find them in the black is pretty tough. So you can usually see uh, if a, a guitar has been uh, worked on or retrofitted at some point because you'll, you'll see the, uh, the much more common silver switch. And then uh, the other part that's really super hard to find is the uh, guitar volume control because this is actually a dual uh, pot. We've got a 500K, which is for the uh, traditional standard output, and then there's a 50K, uh, which is used for the um, um, volume output that produces the uh, control voltage. So this is one part that's super hard to find. It's very disappointing if you need to track one down because I th think at one point in time Alembic may have had a, a potentiometer that had similar specifications, but generally speaking this is a part that you can find on the Roland gear but not much else. And then everything else in here is uh, pretty standard. They uh, all tend to be uh, linear 50K parts. Uh, the uh, resonance controller is also a dual, um, I think this is a dual 50K part. Uh, so if you're looking to uh, install some um, bass guitar electronics, 
this would be the kit that you would use and after installing this uh, you could use your bass guitar with the Roland G77B bass guitar synth controller which was kind of neat. Uh, the G77B had an upgraded sound engine and w was um, uh, probably as, as the last generation there we, we saw some improvements but uh, over um, say the G707 the way uh, it operated but still a little bit sluggish uh, for sure uh, compared to today's standards. Uh, but still, if you happen to track one of these down, uh, you've, you've kind of hit the jackpot because they are uh, pretty hard to find, pretty rare. So this is the Roland BAK-1, and like all uh, of these sort of accessory parts from Roland, they don't have a unique serial number that whatever part number you see here, it's a, a standard part number for all these series. And I hope you found this helpful.